Good morning, y'all. I'm just sitting outside my dock. It's still reasonably dark outside. Um, and I'm just waiting to pull in. But I started thinking about something this morning. This is another episode of how men tell on themselves, but women don't listen. Women don't pay attention. Okay. The one thing that men have consistently said for centuries is that they value a woman's beauty, her youth, and her ability to procreate. Those top three things, that is what most men care about when it comes to women. Okay. Now, ladies, this is for you to like really ponder this and really think about this for a second. There's going to come a time in every woman's life. The only exception to this is if you die young, right? If we die young, that's that's the only way this is not going to happen. If you live long enough, there's going to come a time in every woman's life where you are no longer going to be young. So you're going to get older. Our beauty is going to fade. We are not going to look as good as we do now in 50 years or 40 years or whatever, okay? And there's going to come a time where all of us hits menopause and we are not going to be able to procreate anymore, right? Now, some of us look forward to menopause, but whatever. You know what I mean? So if we know that all three of those things are for certain, if you live long enough, what do you think the men in your lives are going to do nine times out of ten? This is what most men have already done, okay? But as we go forward in life and think about this, how are men going to see you if you lose your looks, if you use, lose your, your youth, and if you hit menopause and you can't have their, have their babies anymore? I tell women all the time, most men are going to go through a midlife crisis, and that midlife crisis is going to be the motorcycle, the fucking sports car, whatever, you know, it's going to come with a side chick, it's going to come with a lot of things. And this is only assuming that they live long enough, because a lot of times they die young as well, but think about that for a day. For, for, for a second, right? This is why I can't take men seriously as well. I, I have 3,000 reasons why I can't take men seriously. But this is one of the main things. If I know that men, men are telling y'all this. I don't know why men get mad at women when we say things that they say themselves. But whatever. They tell y'all this themselves. Youth, beauty, ability to procreate. Every woman is going to lose all three of those things sooner or later then what do you think the men are going to do? Damn it. I got to pull into my dock. So I'm going to pause right here and I'm going to come back. Okay, so I'm back. Um, I didn't want this video to be this long anyways, um, but I backed into my dock. I'm just kind of sitting here. I'm going to have to get out my truck in a minute. But I just want women to think about that. Just think about the fact that at some point, the thing that men say they value in women, we're going to lose. And what do you think they're going to do to you or towards you or whatever after those three things go away? This is why I don't want women to put their all into a man. Don't put your sense of self-worth into a man. You are useful to them as long as you're useful to them. And then when they want to trade you in for a younger woman or a man or whoever, they're most likely going to. And they're going to almost immediately. They're not going to sit around and wait for years to fulfill whatever desires or kinks or needs that they have. They're just going to just play you at the end of the day. Now, I know this for a fact because this has already happened to most women already. So what do you think is going to happen for future generations of women, especially since most of the men are getting worse, not better. If you look around, things are getting worse. The men are becoming less and less men. I don't even want to call them males. The males, most of them are becoming less and less like useful in society, to themselves, to their family, right? So that's just something to think about. I've been sitting here thinking about that, and I'm just like, you know, why do guys do this like why like why are they always out for themselves at the end of the day so don't come in the comment section talking about oh all men are not like that the vast majority of them are so when i was growing up when i was in first grade maybe even kindergarten right we learned that majority rules that's what we learned 
how many people want to watch this movie? How many people want to watch that movie? You know, there's 30 kids in the class. 20 of them want to watch this movie. That's the movie we're going to watch. Majority rules, right? That's what we learned when we were kids. It's going to be the same as adults. The vast majority of men think this way. The vast majority of them are misogynistic. And their misogyny leads to misandry. And they sit there and they're confused as to why they want to call us misandrous. Well, you can call me a misandrous. I don't really give a damn. I've told people many times I don't hate men. But if you want to believe that I hate men, fine. Then okay, I hate men. Whatever. You know what I mean? You can call me a misandrous. Misogyny leads to misandry. It just is what it is. Stop being shocked, guys. But yeah, like I said, don't come in my comment section talking about it's not all men. It's the vast majority. And that's um, that's who I'm speaking on. And even if it was only 10%, I'm talking about the 10% of men. I'm not talking about the other 90. Right? You know what I mean? Like... Why are you getting mad? If you're a hit dog hollering, just say that. If you are a woman that is delusional, just say that, right? You want to believe, oh, there's so good men out there. That's another thing I notice about women. Y'all love talking about how many good men are out there, but y'all don't have one. Some woman in my comment section like a few weeks ago was like, I can go find me a, a good man in a heartbeat um, in, in a minute or something like that. And I'm like, but you don't have one though. So like, why? What, what are you doing? Like, why are you, why are you in my comment section trying to convince me of something that you haven't even convinced yourself of? You're not even walking in that reality. Why are you trying to convince me of it? But anyways, I got off on a tangent. I do that a lot. Going down bunny trails, right? So that's just something that I want women to really think about. If you really stop and think about that, the less likely you will continue your life wasting your time on men who are just going to trade you in for a younger version of yourself the moment you become inconvenient in their lives. The moment they don't find you attractive anymore. The moment you are not young anymore. And the moment you say anything about menopause, they're going to stop and they're going to be like, oh, she can't have my kids anymore. Oh, I need to test my manhood to see if my sperm still works. So now I'm going to go knock up some 23-year-old and, you know see if my sperm still works there's men out there with that mindset trust me i meet them on a regular basis they're childish as fuck and chances are you have run into them or those are going to be the types of men that you're going to continue to run into <laughs> it just is what it is right but anyway that's it for this video um i'll check y'all in the next one all right bye